It's time for a look at another holiday hijinks game from Grand Gamers Guild, who we have to thank for dropping off a stack of these Escape Room in a Box games for us to review. So today we're looking at the newest holiday hijinks game. It's the seventh in the series. This is The Turkey Trial, which was just released this year. Each of these small box, 18 card puzzle games comes from the mind of Jonathan Schaefer, with additional artwork by Carl Julke. Turkey Trial is designed for one or more players and is totally family friendly. While the puzzles may be too much for young kids, the story is going to appeal to a younger audience. Most players or groups should be able to finish this one in under an hour, as it has a difficulty rating of only one. In the Turkey Trial, you are playing a turkey, one that's certain they're going to be served up for dinner. It's up to you to figure out a way to escape from the farm, while also helping out some of your farmyard friends. Now, the goal here is to get out and then reach the governor, who you hear pardons one turkey a year, and you know it should be you. Now, we don't have an unboxing to share for you, as this is a puzzle game and we didn't want to spoil anything, but know that the contents here match the other holiday hijinks games, a small pack of 18 cards and instructions inside the pack, which will have you scan a QR code to get to a web app. Now, this app's where you get the story of the game, as well as where you can look up hints and the standard puzzle-based information like various codes and ciphers. For example, in this particular escape room game, it gives you the moon code, which you can find in the app. Now playing the turkey trial couldn't be simpler. Open up the pack, set the cards aside, scan the QR code, read the intro, grab the first card, flip it over, and start solving. Now as you enter your answers into the web app, it'll lead you to the next card or sets of cards. Now, the puzzles in the turkey trial are split among two branching paths, which is great for two players or two groups of people to work on concurrently. In the end, though, you will all have to work together to get the final answer and make your escape. When you do this, you'll get a score and have the opportunity to submit that score to Grand Gamers Guild so they can use the information like how long you took, how many clues you used, which clues you used, and so on to improve future games. Now this time we got our first ever five score, five out of five, finishing the turkey trial under an hour and using no hints at all. Now the difficulty here seems pretty accurate, though there was one puzzle that took us quite some time to figure out. Well, good to know that the difficulty scale is reliable. It's one thing that I think we'd suspected, but had not been sure of until we'd played enough to compare. Now, as usual for these games, there was an interesting mix of puzzle types that tested our logic, deduction, math, and observation skills. There was only one puzzle that made us want to write on the cards, and as I recommended for other games in the series, one of the best things you do is just have some card sleeves on hand with a red erase marker. That way you can write on the cards without actually ruining them. Though I suppose even some plastic wrap would, wrap would work in a pinch, though it might be harder to write on than a sleeve. Now, my kids in particular really like the story of this particular holiday hijinks game, with my youngest being really amused by the fact you are actually playing the turkey in this game. The turkey trial story really does make this one great for playing with younger kids, though I think most of the puzzles are geared more towards adults. I did enjoy the twist of the character being played in this one. It's a fun one, and certainly thematic enough. Now, what I like the most is the way the story branched. At one point, you're presented with two puzzles at once and two an answers to enter in. Well, after you complete either one of those, that tells you to grab more cards with more puzzles, which in turn leads to more puzzles and more cards. Eventually, you get to this point where you're at the end and it says you're only halfway there and you basically have to go back to that first puzzle. Or you might do what we did and kind of go down both paths until we get stuck and then go back to try on the other side to see if anything from that puzzle helps the other puzzles out. This makes this particular escape room game great for a couple or again, a larger group split into two teams. It's interesting that the best player count on these has varied in your experiences, mm -hmm. but the player count isn't something they feature on these games. Yeah, all the games just list them as a game for one or more players, which uh, you can check Board Game Geek is what I recommend to see what most average people recommend them at. This one, I think you want two or four, like you want to split into two teams. I think you need at least two people to really get the most out of this one. Now, the only thing I really have here that I would complain a bit about is they don't really explain pardoning the turkey or why the game is even called the turkey trial. This is a United States only thing and not part of Thanksgiving in Canada or anywhere else in the world. So completely confused my kids until I was able to explain the whole thing with the governor and pardoning a turkey every year and what that had to do with anything. 
I almost feel like the game should have just been like the Great Turkey Escape, though I you lose the alliteration there, but some other alliterative name or something like that, and then just having you escape the farm just to not get cooked at that point, they would make the game more accessible to a wider range of people and cultures. It's true that while a number of countries do indeed celebrate Thanksgiving, I'm not aware of anyone other than the U.S. and Canada that treat turkey as an aspect of that holiday, and as you point out, the poultry pardon is a U.S only thing Uh, i welcome listeners to check out turkey as food on wikipedia for a real rabbit hole of poultry now i continue to really enjoy these small card pack escape room in a box games from jonathan schaefer Uh, they continue to impress me by being unique and each playing slightly different from the last now out of the ones i played this is by far the easiest and probably the most accessible holiday hijinks game i played as long as you understand the holiday traditions in the united states around thanksgiving This one might almost be as market limited as the independence incident when it comes to specificity in holidays. Now, I think the turkey trial would be a great game to play on Thanksgiving, as long as your gathering doesn't include too many people. Maybe if you do have a lot of people, this is something an adult can share with the kids' table. Another Thanksgiving tradition. Maybe something for the vegans out there sick of the holiday bird cruelty. Fair enough. If you dig escape room style puzzles and want a wide variety of small challenges that can be played through in a short period of time, you'll probably enjoy the turkey trial, whether you play it on the holiday or not. If the entire concept of 18 card quick playing puzzle games great for one or more players interests you, I encourage you to check out our other holiday hijinks reviews. Yeah, we've already looked at the independence incident, the birthday burglary, the pumpkin problem, as well as now the turkey trap. And watch this place for an upcoming review of the Kringle Caper sometime closer to the big day. That's it for our review of the Turkey Trial, the seventh and newest holiday hijinks game from our friends at Grand Gamers Guild. Keep them coming, Mark and Jonathan. We can't wait to see what holiday you're going to do next. Will we be protecting our pot of gold on St. Patrick's? Gathering at mosques for Eid? Maybe hunting down some eggs for Easter or something else. Here's one for our fans. Let us know what holiday you would most like to see in a holiday hijinks game. We'll be sure to pass the info on to Mark. Just let us know in the comments. Email mo at tabletopbellhop.com or toss a post up at discord.tabletopbellhop.com.